Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Smith and welcome to A Great Varieties on Nebbiolo. This is the intermediate version. Um, this is very useful for WSET level two. If you are looking for more in-depth information about Nebbiolo, such as its etymology, its viticulture, its vinification, its history, uh, please look at the advanced version, which will be in the link uh, in the description below the video. But this is for ideal for a, an intermediate level. So this is WSET level two area. As mentioned, my name is Jimmy Smith. Uh, this is my personal uh, handle at Wine with Jimmy. That is for Instagram and Twitter. Please get in touch for any comments or questions. At West London Wine, at South London Wine are both my wine schools based in London, of course, uh, where we hold a huge amount of tastings and courses every year, both in the classroom and online. Also, then we have Streatham Wine House, which is a cool little lovely wine bar down in Streatham in South London, where you can come and have a wonderful glass of wine from over 350 wines on our list. Uh, so all of our websites are listed there below. So please, when you're in London next, come and see us for a class or a glass. Great, let's start with the Nebbiolo description. Then we'll go into where we find Nebbiolo and what it tastes like so you can understand it for your level two certificate. Nebbiolo as a variety uh, is a black grape variety which we find from Piemonte and Lombardia, which is in the northwest and north of Italy. Uh, so this is around cities like Torino, and Milano, so Turin, Turin and Milan. The, um, the very famous wines that it makes are from villages such as Barolo and Barbaresco. So these are DOCGs, the highest echelon of quality within Italy, and Nebbiolo must be the sole grape variety behind these two. So they are two that you really must know for your level two. There are lots of others, but you only need to know these two, so count yourselves remarkably lucky. Um, the variety is found on some of the best sites within Piemonte because it needs to actually ripen the most. The variety is actually quite an early budder and a late ripener, which means it has a longer growing season, so therefore needs the warmth. Uh, so you will find it near places like Alba, and Asti in the Lange and the Ruero in all that parts of Piemonte where we find Barolo Barbaresco on the best often south facing slopes. Um, the variety has nice thick skins that are low in colour but very high in tannin and there's also a lot of pip content which gives a lot of tannin so the wines are remarkably tannin, uh, tannic and quite astringent and quite bitter but it gives structure and capability for ageing for Nebbiolo. They are also remarkably high in acidity. So this is often due to the fact that the grape itself is high in acid. The soil it's found on produces higher acids. So as a result, the wines are tannic and acidic. Two great reasons, once again, for extensive amounts of aging. Now, because the wines are so um, intensive with tannins and acid and quite powerful wines, they are often aged in oak barrels, um, often old, but can be new as well and can be uh, French or, or, or another European country. It depends on what the winemaker, what he or she wants. So this is really to soften those tannins and acid to make it a bit more uh, approachable when it goes to market. And of course, because of this structure, because of this tannin and because of this acid and lots of complexity, Nebbiolo under the wines of Barolo, Barbaresco can age very well. They can age decades and some of the longest age reds in the world uh, and they can become remarkably haunting and complex. So where do we find this haunting and complex grape variety? Um, now, this whole area, Piemonte, um, there is a moniker that is used for the Nebbiolo grape. It's often called the Grape of Kings, the King of Grapes, majorly because a very famous woman here who is called Giulia Faletti um, actually put these wines in front of the nobility of an old famous kingdom or house called the House of Savoy. The nobility of the Savoys uh, they started to really like these wines and in fact poured a lot of money and time due to Giulia Faletti 
uh, and these wines became remarkably famous. So, of course, the, the fame of this then spread amongst the area of the House of Savoy, but eventually into other big kingdoms like the Habsburgs, the Hofenstaffens, and then across kind of Western kingdoms as well. So um, we find it then in Piemonte. So this is the region of Piemonte, uh, the capital city of Piemonte, where you are likely to fly to, is Torino, or Turin, uh, to us. And then most of the wine regions are to the south east of Torino, around Asti, Erme and Alba, famously Alba. For you guys, you will need to know about Barbaresco and Barolo. These are two villages which exclusively have to use the Nebbiolo grape. They are complex, high acid, high tannin, powerful, long aged red wines, uh, which we've already talked through because of Nebbiolo. Um, then we have the flavours. You are not required to know really anything else about where it's from. The flavours and characteristics are very much red fruit focused, like cherries and strawberries and raspberries and going to dried fruits. Um, but when they have this time in oak and in bottle and ageing, you'll find mushrooms, black truffle, earthiness. There are rosy characters, cigar and oaky notes and spices. They are very complex wines that can age wonderfully well through the primary, secondary and tertiary spe spectrums of uh, red wines. High acids, of course, high tannins, quite high alcohols, full-bodied style red wines. So that is really it for the intermediate look at Nebbiolo. Once again, if you want more information on the history, the synonyms of Nebbiolo, its etymology, its naming, uh, its viticulture, its vinification, please look at our advanced version, which level three students and especially level four students will find very useful. Thank you very much. I've been Jimmy Smith at Wine with Jimmy on Twitter and on um, Instagram. There's the two wine schools and there's also the wine bar. So please do get in touch for any comments or questions. I really hope you've learned something. It's been very lovely to have you on board and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye.